Georgia and Dislocation Part 3. In this session, we will be discussing the syringe technique to reduce an anteriorly dislocated jaw joint, which is also known as a temporomandibular joint. The article for reference for this particular technique is stated here. Now, this technique, when done within two hours of a dislocation, according to that particular article, had a 97% success rate. So how does this technique work? So this technique utilizes the patient's own strong master muscles to pivot the jaw using the syringe as a fulcrum pushing the mandibular condyle down below the articular eminence and back into the mandibular fossa. So in this particular technique, the patient is in the sitting position. The next thing is to choose the correct size of syringe. Now the choice is between a 5 ml syringe or a 10 ml syringe. And the size of the syringe depends on the distance between the patient's upper and lower molars. So the patient should be able to comfortably bite on the syringe or rest on the syringe between his upper molar teeth and lower molar teeth in the dislocated position. The syringe is then placed between the upper and lower molar teeth. Now this syringe will act as your rolling fulcrum between the upper molar teeth and lower molar teeth. So the patient gently bites down on the syringe between his or her molars and rolls the syringe, which is now your rolling fulcrum, back and forth. As the molars or the gums holding the syringe move the syringe back and forth, the mandible glides posteriorly. So essentially that is the syringe here. And then we tell the patient while biting down on the syringe with the syringe acting as a rolling fulcrum to push his or her jaw forwards and then backwards, forwards, and then backwards. So the patient is moving the jaw forwards and backwards using this syringe as a rolling fulcrum. This allows the muscles to work in concordance with each other, allowing the anteriorly displaced condyle to move posteriorly and the condyle slips gently back into its normal anatomical position. There are few modifications to make this technique more practical. Practically, it is noticed that when you tell the patient to push his or her jaw forwards and backwards in the dislocated position, the mandible doesn't have sufficient strength or the patient does not have sufficient strength in the mandible to push the mandible forwards and backwards. So therefore, it is often a good idea for the operator to hold one end of the syringe and then when the operator tells the patient to push his jaw forwards, the operator, the operator the syringe in the forward direction, assisting the patient, getting over the inertia, helping the patient to push his or her jaw forwards. And then when you tell the patient to push or pull his jaw backwards, the operator again rotates the syringe and by rotating the syringe, assists the patient, helps the patient to get over the inertia, to pull the jaw backwards. 
Therefore, the operator works with the patient, assisting the patient by rotating the end of the syringe, allowing the patient to move or push his or her jaw forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. If there is a bilateral dislocation, then we suggest that you do one side first and the other side will automatically reduce by itself or to do one side and if the other side does not reduce, repeat the same procedure on the opposite side. However, you may have a situation where the patient would prefer to hold the syringe through both the molars, through and through, and then push his or her forwards and backwards. If that procedure is comfortable or that technique is comfortable for the patient, then you can go ahead with that modification of the technique. Once the jaw joint has been reduced and the condyle has slipped gently back into its normal anatomical position, the next thing what you should do is put a cool compress on the patient's face. Put a barrel bandage on the patient. Advise liquid diet for 48 hours, soft diet for 7 days, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for 3 days, like ibuprofen. Let us summarize this with a short video. As you can see, the patient bites on the molar teeth with the syringe, moving the jaw forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. The muscles work in concordance with each other and the condyle slips back into its normal position. In our next session, we will discuss the extra oral technique of reducing an anteriorly dislocated jaw joint. Thank you.